Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Sunday, April 14th. So we have the moon in her rulership in this cancer energy here all day. Yeah, we are definitely kind of exploring our inner realm. We're kind of all up in the feels. We've had a lot kind of thrown at us through this eclipse season and through this Mercury retrograde as well. And because we're trying to kind of break out with this new version of self, this new identity, these new wants, new needs, new desires, we're a little bit shaky. We're a little bit unstable, if you will. And we are building towards the first quarter moon taking place in this Cancer energy here on Monday, which means that we are really having to get to know ourselves again. We are doing a deep dive in our emotions, in our intuition. We're recognizing where it is that we are lacking safety, security, and stability. We're realizing what it is that we have to do to nurture ourselves back to a place of safety, security, and stability. Now, a lot of this is recognizing where it is that we are overly attached to the old, because again, the cancer energy does kind of attach to the past, to tradition, if you will. However, there is a spice, there's an excitement about what we actually want to do, what we actually want to pursue. And so the back and forth ebb and flow of realizing where it is that we want to actually move forward and then recognize where it is that certain anxieties, certain thoughts, certain ideas, certain emotions pop up to pull us back in the past. This is us finding a new common middle ground, a new foundation for us to operate from. So we're definitely going to explore the back and forth ebb and flow energies that we have very much been in through this whole eclipse season. And because we are all up in the fields, there is likely going to be some emotions that rise to the surface. If you haven't listened to this week's Ascension forecast as of yet, I'm going to recommend you do that so that you understand where the energies are likely going to manifest some physical discomfort, some physical ailments that, of course, we have to push through, we have to work through in order to raise our vibration and our frequency in order to actually move on into the future, into this green light go ahead that we are anticipating at the end of the month. And right now we're just building a brand new emotional foundation to support us. So with that being said, there are seven different aspects taking place here today. Six of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Cancer energy going to semi-square Uranus, the Great Awakener, who of course is in Taurus energy. Now this is definitely going to put us in a situation where we're kind of feeling confusion, where we're not really as open-minded, as open-hearted to the future, to the path, the plan, the possibilities as we once were. Again, this is a good indicator that we're holding on to what is tried, tested, true, what is familiar for dear life. And because of that, we're actually creating more confusion, more anxiety than there needs to be. When Uranus, of course, is trying to open up our heart space, open up our head space to doing things differently, to really adopting new methods, really pushing us into seeing what is now possible for us, the hesitation that we are actually creating within ourselves by realistically blocking out thinking about the future and again, kind of solidifying in this present moment and holding on to the past, it is a very harsh contrast to the energies that are trying to push us away from the old, away from the past and into the future. So because we're kind of resisting change, because we're kind of hesitant and thinking too far about the future and holding on very much to this present moment in the past, we're actually creating more confusion, more of a unstable energetic environment than there actually needs to be. It isn't going to last very long, though, because the moon in Cancer is going to make a positive interaction with the sun in this Aries energy. So, of course, anytime that the moon and the sun come together, there's a new aha moment, a new emotional awareness, a new realization of what it is that we need to do, what we need to pursue, what it is that we want, need and desire. The moon in Cancer, again, very attached to the old, to the past, to what is tried, tested and true. Another very very harsh contrast because the sun, of course, in Aries energy doesn't want to look back. We only want to look forward. We're concentrating on what it is that we want to build, what we want to create, what we want to bring to life. This is a clean start, a fresh chapter and the back and forth, the ebb and 
flow, the push and pull is going to allow us to see where it is that our ego programming, again, fears, doubts, and insecurities are the reason of why it is that we're holding on so tightly to what once was when realistically speaking, this new identity that is currently emerging has no want, need, or desire to sit in that energy. Our higher selves, this new vibration and frequency wants us to concentrate on what could be. So there's going to be an aha moment that comes out of this particular energetic struggle. And from that, we're going to be able to reframe where it is that we're holding on to the old, what kind of anxiety or emotional attachment is actually connected to that particular realization and how to break free of it, how to cut the cord and actually start fresh. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring, square off with Venus. Venus is the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in this Aries energy wanting to, again, not look back, but instead look forward. We are starting to realize that this major change of heart that we've been going through, especially through this eclipse portal that had a major focus on relationship dynamics, we're starting to realize where it is that we have to start taking action. We have to start pursuing our wants, our needs, our desires. And for many of us, that means doing the hard thing, cutting people off, creating new boundaries, creating new space in order for us to truly pursue what it is that our heart is now asking us to do. And so a square never feels good, but it is a, I'm going to say a learning lesson on where it is that the struggle is very real, where it is that parts of us are holding on too desperately to the old, where it is that we're not open enough to the new. And because of this, we are going to feel a lot of heart activations, a lot of pressure in our chest, in our emotions by figuring out where it is that we're essentially holding on to old life lessons that we've kind of brought to a certain completion point. And because of that, this new awareness, this tension, this conflict is going to show us where it is that a part of us, especially our higher selves in our heart space, has no want, need or desire to continue to hold on to the old. And instead, we want to pivot and start pursuing the new. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, retrograde in this Aries energy is going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Taurus energy. So this is just going to open up our minds, really put us in a situation to push the boundaries of our mental plane. Now, albeit, you know, Mercury is retrograde. So we want to make a decision. We want to choose. We want to align with a certain path, but we're not ready to yet. This clarity is not going to come until the end of the month. This particular energy, this interaction means that we're going back and forth. We're taking one step forward on an idea. We're taking two steps back. We are very excited about a project and then suddenly we're questioning ourselves. We're really instilling a lot of doubt within ourselves. At the end of the day, we have a lot of ideas. We have a lot of big ideas. We have a lot of thoughts that are going through our head that we feel very good about. And then suddenly we don't feel as strongly about them. Again, this is Mercury's retrograde. We have to take one step forward in a new path, new idea, new project. And then we have to kind of tear it down just to make sure that we're thinking of all the options of all the possibilities before we're actually gifted with the opportunity to take action to make moves. The moon and Cancer then going to trine beautiful interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma in this Pisces energy. So this is water on water action. This is going to cleanse us and heal us and purify our soul, our spirit. We're recognizing what it is that we've built in the past that we're very proud of, or in some cases, not so proud of that we still have an attachment to. We're recognizing where it is that we now have a clean slate, a new foundation to build something new in the place of the things that are no longer working. This is going to be a very subtle reality check, a realization where it is that we need to stabilize, where it is that we have to come up with a better routine, a better system to take care of ourselves, mind, body, and soul, so that we can actively start moving forward from a state of wholeness. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring, square off with that north node in Aries energy. 
this is definitely going to illuminate where it is that we're not feeling ready to move forward, where it is that we're at this point putting the blinders on. We don't even want to think about the future. Why? Because we just get overwhelmed with a vision, with a goal, with a dream. That's exciting. That's inspiring. But the roles and responsibilities that come with that, the major changes, the major transformations that we're going to have to go through in order to actually bring this goal, this vision, this dream to life is overwhelming. So this is the point in time where we start kind of shutting down. The moon is going to help us out by trining with Mars. Mars is the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire. He is in Pisces energy. He is looking to get emotionally, intuitively, spiritually in alignment with a new truth, new passion, new goal. This is inspiration at its finest. This is creativity at its finest. This is empowerment at its finest. We are feeling the pep in our step. We are starting to build, cultivate this new idea idea, this new inspiration, this new motivation that we are actively trying to build excitement in, in order for us to actually take action, make moves and pursue a brand new path, a brand new goal. But again, at the end of the month, if you haven't listened to the April energy forecast as of yet, I'm going to recommend you do so because we are in a let's call it energy building time right now in preparation for that green light go ahead at the end of the month. <laughs> 